Paula Sylvan. It's great to be with you here on the show floor at MWC. So, Sylvan, maybe we start with you. Talk, talk to me a little bit about what stands out to you here at the show. Of course, very impressed by the crowd, especially the presence of uh, Asia Pacific uh, vendors and players. You know, they are really at the forefront of uh, the innovation in the telco industry. Of course, the classic topic, you know, 4G, 5G, monetization, cloud, and, you know, of course, AI, still early stage, you know, figuring out the right platforms and the right, uh, the right use cases. So I heard you mention 5G and AI, and I know that this is not an easy transition for operators. So talk to me a little bit about what kind of support, Paul, do operators need as they make this transition? So look, for operators, of course, everything is about how can they do the most effective cost management of their infrastructure as possible. This 5G transition has been incredibly difficult. It's actually a very costly transition. It's a complex transition because they've been actually moving what is, you know, they've got VNF and virtual machine-based network function environments. They've got container-based network function environments, CNFs as we call them. They've got their OSS, BSS applications. Really what they need is a kind of common way of managing that infrastructure. They need one way to manage it. It needs a way to actually drive a much more efficient cost for them. And what we're also seeing is how can we bring more common operations? So both their IT operations, what we've learned for many years as VMware on how we can implement a better IT operations, we're bringing to the network operations part. You can get the common operational stack with our VCF stack across your network operations and your IT operations. You get the benefits of CNFs and VNFs on the same platform, your OSS, BSS applications on the same platforms. That is all about saving money uh, for these operators and providers who are very cost conscious right now. Awesome. So, Sylvan, I heard him mention a lot of different vertical silos within different organizations. And I know telcos are moving away from that. So, what do they need to move and make that transition away from vertical silos? Uh, and how does Broadcom help make that transition smoothly? Well, I think Paul has been explaining quite a lot of that, and we had uh, key meetings with uh, many of our uh, big clients uh, during the show. So, for sure, you know, they use, they look at their platform and they can optimize. We believe there is a trend for ver uh, horizontal um, platform instead of vertical platforms. Like Paul said, you know, they run uh, the virtualization platform in IT, now in telco. Of course, now they have to capture a new platform, which is the AI platform. So they give even more, you know, um, more justification for going horizontal. So it's going to be a journey for sure. Okay? Uh, but that was most of the conversation we had with the clients and uh, with uh, our core virtualization platform, VCF, for both telco workloads and IT workloads and AI workloads as well as well as Edge platform, I think we have a good uh, conversation having uh, with the clients. So one of the things I've seen a lot of operators do around AI is partner up, but AI is not the only thing that they need to partner on. So talk to me about uh, standardized APIs and how partnerships can change the game for telcos on that front. Well look, no, partners are critical for us and they're critical for our customers. As you as telco operators, you expect that the network functions are supported on those platforms. So we work with our partners, Nokia, with Ericsson, with NEC, with Samsung, uh, with Mavenir. All of these partner ecosystems, they come out of the box with certified, trusted platforms from us. Uh, we have implemented this into some of the leading customers in the world, right? Vodafone, Telia, T-Mobile, BT, SoftBank, and the, and the list goes on. What they need and all of these customers need is a guaranteed, trusted, qualified platform that supports all of their applications, and we provide that. And that's what we hear from customers here, is it's really encouraging to come to a show like this. So one of the things I hear you guys saying is that there are a lot of big changes going on. So, and AI is certainly one of the ones that's gaining momentum. So Sylvan, talk to me a little bit about how the cloud and telco cloud strategies have to adapt for that AI transfer. Yeah, first, like like I said, I think we're still early stage. You know, when you see uh, you know the, what has been uh, showing up here in uh, at the event, uh, that's uh, that's that's one. I mean, our observation as well at VMware is maybe the operators and the telcos have been missing the cloud opportunity ten years ago, where they they were having a lot in their hands to capture more of what they have been capturing. So I think AI is an opportunity for that industry to catch up, okay, to catch up. And I think they have a lot of uh, things to, to say. Sovereignty is a big driver. 
edge, you know, things happening at the edge on AI is a big topic as well. So they are really having the, uh, the capacity to recover some of the monetization that they may not have been capturing into the cloud. And again, uh, this, is a, this is a platform play, okay? If they are setting the right platform and business model, and that's where we're helping them into that space. Uh, yeah, I think they can uh, recover uh, what they may have lost again a bit into the cloud world. That's well, they're, they're in a... and, and, and as well, there is, there is an interesting discussion here is uh, AI uh, for a network and network for AI, because it's, not, it's gonna be a new, uh, a new packets, a new capacity going through the, the, the telco operator, which are all those uh, AI uh, traffic, okay? Uh, so it's a very interesting topic, but again, you know, early stage, I'm sure next year at MWC, we're gonna, we're gonna see much more, and uh, hopefully, uh, uh, with collaboration we are doing with, um, with those guys. Yeah, they're in, they're in a unique position because they own the kind of network, and they have a sovereign kind of cloud capability, because they work in region. And that's a unique place where they can actually play with a private AI, a sovereign AI, a sovereign AI which I think will be the next thing that we'll really see in every one of these cloud operators. All right, Paul, I'm coming to you for the last question. <laughs> uh, in 30 seconds or less, lightning round. Uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, AI and automation and how telcos are thinking about that in terms of operations, network security. What is that thought process? Yeah, so they, so they are looking at both sides, as Sylvain said. One is it's a business opportunity for them. And, and for there, as you look at sovereign private AI, they can actually run a trusted, secure environment for their customers without data transiting across borders and boundaries where you may have some challenges from certain governments. And the second is AI to enhance their operations internally, to build more efficient operations. And that's what we're looking at, that's what we build. With our Telco Cloud platform, it's based on VCF. We give you the ability to run private AI infrastructure, but to also optimize your network, your storage, your compute performance, uh, so that you can build the most operationally efficient platform possible. All right, well, thank you both for your time today. Sure, thank you, thank you so much.